Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I track macros and calories. Happy Friday, it is a Friday, it is weigh-in day. Now I'm filming this video on Wednesday because when you see this video, I am in upstate New York with my girlfriends. We took a little bit of a girl's trip to enjoy all the Christmas things in upstate New York, go to Niagara Falls. My girlfriend Amy teaches water aerobics, so we're, gonna, so we're going to take one of her water aerobics classes, and it's just going to be a little bit of a getaway, a little bit of relaxation, a little bit of a break from work before the busy holiday season. So when you see this video, I am living my best life in upstate New York. So I actually filmed my way in a little bit early, and today we're gonna talk about my week, the WW workshop topic and of course my weigh-in a little bit early this week but this week's weigh-in so if you're excited give this video a big huge thumbs up make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload a weigh-in every Friday in five videos per week check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories this is what I follow this has helped me lose over 133 pounds as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly links to discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come on over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Now, if you aren't in my Facebook group or follow me on Instagram, I'll put both of those up here on the screen for you. Definitely come follow me so you can see pictures and things from my trip to New York. So let's go ahead and jump into my week, the WW workshop topic, and this week's weigh-in. beginning of December, can you even believe that it is the final month of 2022? I feel like this year has went by so fast. I have really been thinking about my goals for 2023. Stay tuned for a goal video, vision board video coming out this month as well for you. And I've really been deep diving into what are my goals for the next year while still focusing on finishing out this year strong. I've been talking a lot about that in the last few weeks of weigh-ins and WW workshop topic recaps about finishing this year out strong and not throwing in the towel just because it's the last month of the year, but instead really stay focused focused on your goals and end out this year in the best way possible. It's a hard time of year. Between Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, it's just activity, festivity, event, lots of food after food after food, party after party after party. It's so many things rolled into one, not to mention all the holiday travel, which is currently what I'm doing. December can be a really hard month. October, November, December, they're all really hard months. So we want to stay focused so we can end the year out strong. I've had that in the forefront of my mind this last week. I was able to get in all of my workouts before heading out to New York. I purchased some fun new clothes for my trip, including a new bathing suit that I'm that I want to share with you. So disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. I'm about to put myself out on the internet in a bathing suit. This is not the most comfortable situation for me. So I'm asking that you keep it positive in the comments. I have come a long way. I've worked really hard to lose over 130 pounds. I've been working really hard at leaning out and thinning out my body. I have a lot of loose skin. I have some fat left on my body, so please be kind in the comments, but I really wanted to share this bathing suit with you because this is a unique, exciting addition to the Potville bathing suit line. I actually did an entire Potville try-on haul several months ago. I'll link that video down below for you where I tried on several bathing suits, which I love them. I actually wore all of those bathing suits during my trip to Hawaii, lots of fun clothing from Potville. And when I found out that they had introduced a new swimsuit to their line, this little beautiful bright pink swimsuit right here, I had to pick it up for my trip to New York, you know, for that water aerobics class, and I have to share it with you. This is the Potville Magic Stretch One Piece Swimsuit. This is a one size fits all suit. It fits all the way up to an extra, extra large. This bathing suit is only $29.99. It's a ribbed one piece bathing suit that stretches to perfectly fit sizes small through extra, extra large. It's got a classic shape and medium coverage for your curve. If you need just one swimsuit to your swimmer wardrobe, this is definitely the one for you. I absolutely love the bright pink color and what I love most is it is full coverage on the back. As you saw in the try-on haul, it conceals all of the loose skin on my back. It is 
very, very stretchy. It's very, very flattering on the body. And I love that it's a one size fits all. Now, is it going to fit everybody in the world? Probably not, but I'll tell you that there is a lot of stretch to this bathing suit. Even if you're smaller in frame, it fits really well. And then, like I said, it just stretches to fit most body sizes. And for $29.99, you can't beat it. This little number is what I took with me to New York so that I can wear it to the water aerobics class. We have a pool in our hotel and this has quickly become one of my favorite bathing suits. So I will go ahead and link the Magic Stretch One Peep Bathing Suit from Potville down below for you with a discount code. And like I said, you can't beat the price. And it's such a unique bathing suit that's so comfortable in full coverage. 10 out of 10. So before we jump into my weigh-in, let's chat about this week's WW workshop topic. And that is how to set healthy intentions and stick with them. We can set all the goals in the world, we can set all the healthy intentions of the world, but we don't stick with them. It really doesn't matter what intentions or goals we set. So we need to learn not only how to set these intentions, but how to stick with them. Eating more than you planned, watching TV longer than you planned, overindulging at all of these holiday parties. These are unwanted habits, unwanted behaviors, and things that that just kind of happen as part of life. So today we're going to learn how to lean on a strategy that helps us navigate these issues. So the first thing we're going to do is pinpoint a situation where you often make choices that you wish that you hadn't. Whenever my family orders pizza, I tend to eat too much. It's hard to resist. We're going to decide on a doable alternative that better aligns with our goals. I'll have two slices, then reach for zero point foods if I'm still hungry. We're gonna combine these into one if-then guideline for handling the situation. If it's a pizza night, then I'll serve myself two slices plus some carrot sticks or popcorn. So we're going to learn how to navigate life life events, parties, things that happen in life, still be able to enjoy them because that is what is sustainable for us, but how to navigate them in a way that lends itself to our goals. And this pairs perfectly with ending out this year with all the holidays that are, with all the events and the holidays that are here, vacations, trips, parties, we can lean on these tactics to make it through and finish that year out strong like we've been talking about. Have you ever felt discouraged or that you lack willpower? It's not just you. And honestly, it's not even you at all. Sometimes we're just living our life and we constitute that as not having willpower, which isn't necessarily the case. There's definitely some things that you can do like lean on that if and then situation when you feel like you're lacking willpower. Decide how you're going to handle tricky situations and events and make sure you're then is truly doable. Like back to the pizza situation. We still enjoyed two pieces of pizza. We didn't say we're not having pizza on pizza night. We just told ourselves if pizza night occurs, then I'll eat two slices and focus on zero point foods. That's how you're really going to be successful during the holidays. Enjoy them and enjoy them in moderation. Say you'll enjoy two slices and then have an action plan if you're still hungry. Just a little bit of planning can really help make the holidays successful and help you reach the goals that you set at the beginning of the year as we finish out the year. So I really like this workshop topic. It pairs hand in hand with everything we have going on the final month of the year. And in fact, our next few weeks workshop topics are going to be all about finishing the year strong. So I'm really excited to share with you my take on the topics for the rest of the month. So now let's go ahead and jump into my weigh in. Like I said, I am focused on finishing the year strong for myself, keeping all my goals right here. The goal I set in January are still just as important to me as we move into December. I did my workouts. I drank my water. I ate as healthy as possible. You guys know my friend was here from Australia. So there was a little bit of give and take when it came to the food, but that's life. And that's part of living a healthy, sustainable life and not being on a diet because I'm not on a diet. I am living a healthy, well-rounded, sustainable life. So even though I weighed in early this week, two days early, actually, I weighed in first thing in the morning on Wednesday when normally Friday is my weigh in. When I stepped on the scale, I'm actually down point six. So I imagine by Friday, maybe I would be down closer to a pound, but I'll take it in a short week, a week of having my friend here, a week of gearing up to travel the holidays. I am down point six. So we're starting December off 
on the right foot. I'll go ahead and pop here on the screen my total weight loss so far. I am getting closer and closer to my goal. Like I shared with you guys in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, I had a body scan this week. I'll be giving you an update in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. That body scan's going to tell me how much fat versus lean muscle I have on my body and whether or not I'm close to my goal weight or I still have a ways to go. So definitely stay tuned for next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day for that massive update. Let me know down in the comments, how was your week? How are you navigating the holidays and the final month of 2022? Did you gain? Did you lose this week? Was it what you expected when you stepped on the scale? Let me know everything down in the comments. I absolutely love hearing from you guys. And if you enjoyed today's weigh-in, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. And again, subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Follow me on Instagram. Make sure you're in my Facebook group so you can see all the pictures and fun that I'm having on my trip to New York. And then next Friday will be my post-vacation weigh-in and we'll see how that goes. I'll also link nutrition coaching Links in, I'll also put nutrition coaching and links and discounts to my favorite things down in that description box for you. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend. I will have a grocery haul for you guys tomorrow, so I'll see you in that video. Bye. Jingle bells ring.